If you've been subscribed to this channel for a while now, then you might be aware that I used to make regular content on the show Star vs. the Forces of Evil. Although the way it ended was a bit questionable, it was still a very solid show all around, and I had a lot of fun covering it. So it was a pretty interesting surprise seeing within the past couple days the long-lost pilot for the show had surfaced online. Marco had a different name, it used to be called Star and the Forces of Evil, Star's parents looked completely different, and much more. Of course, don't be a stranger to hitting that like button down below and subscribing for more cartoon related content like this in the future. So the pilot's premise seems to be a mixture of the actual show's first episode titled Star Comes to Earth and the third episode titled Matchmaker. Because the pilot begins with Star fighting some monsters and receiving the family magic wand from her parents. I think her parents' designs changed the most drastically, if not the second most, out of any other character that I noticed here. Their general physiques and hairstyles are roughly the same, but their faces are clearly drawn in a different style. Another small difference is Star made a much more destructive entry in the actual first episode than the pilot. The pilot had her fighting some monsters, yeah, but used a jump cut to show her standing in front of her parents while the first episode had her crashing into the throne room riding on a wild unicorn. Queen Moon seemed a lot less hesitant to actually hand the water over to her daughter in the first episode too, which is funny considering she felt a lot more unhinged here. The pilot showed Moon physically struggling with Star for a bit before literally having it pried out of her hands. The premise of Star getting sent to Earth to help Master Magic and stay with the Diaz family stayed the same. But for whatever reason, Marco's name used to be Sol Diaz, likely done to pair with the name Star since Sol means son in Spanish. Very glad they decided to change his name to Marco because having a character named Sol is a bit, bit too on the nose in my opinion. Seems like Sol over here was a black belt from the get-go though, which Marco is not. Pretty sure in the earlier parts of the series he was a green and or red belt in karate, not black belt. The relationship between Star and Sol seemed to be a pretty rough one for a while though. Yeah, in the real series, Marco was not a huge fan of Star when they first met, but by the end of the first episode, aka their first day together, Marco warmed up to her, and from then on stayed pretty close and there was hardly any moments where one of them couldn't stand the other. Whereas the pilot's first scene at the school tells us via Soul's words that Star had already been going to Echo Creek for two weeks now, which in turn means Star had been staying with the Diaz family for two weeks and Soul still hasn't warmed up to her. The pilot never really showed the two characters properly meeting the same way the main series did, and that's somewhat understandable though because there's only so much you can show in a pilot for a show like this. So the principal asking Marco to keep an eye on Star and finding out she was going to be staying at his house after he got home from school that same day just didn't happen in the pilot. The teacher, Miss Skolnick, turning into a troll was the main conflict Star and Marco had to deal with in the pilot, whereas in the main series that didn't happen until episode 3, Matchmaker. Though Buff Frog can be seen spying on Star and Marco trying to hide their teacher in both forms of media. But since Ludo had already been introduced to the viewers by this point in the main series, the pilot instead transitioned from Buff Frog spying on the troll teacher to going back to Ludo Ludo's castle reporting to him, revealing Ludo's design in pretty much the same way it was done in the main series, showing a shadowy figure of his face before transitioning into him sitting atop a giant pillow stack. From here on, the pilot continues to delve more into the matchmaker plotline, where instead of Ludo just talking about how much he wants to take over the universe before it cuts to Star's POV, the pilot shows the visuals of what Ludo wants to do with the wand the same way the matchmaker episode did, the wand turning all dark and Ludo becoming a giant destroying parts of the butterfly kingdom. The following scenes with Star referencing St. Olga's after Marco suggests asking Moon for help stays almost exactly the same too. Star being experimented on by a scientist after a conveyor belt drags her into the building. I guess the building for St. Olga's does look a little bit smaller in the pilot, plus we see an earlier design of Miss Hainas slash Meteora. She mostly looks the same with some very minor tweaks here and there. As for the scene where Star accidentally calls Tom, Tom looks completely different. I know I said Moon and River look a lot different, but Tom, I think, takes the cake for the most changed character design, actually. The pilot gave him completely red skin, slicked back hair, a purple shirt, very messy mascara, and yellow eyes that were a lot more squinted and less open. Completely unrecognizable, honestly. As for when Ludo and the monster showed up, the pilot felt like it had a little bit more action scenes before Miss Skolnick and that Minotaur thing started to feel each other out. That monster in particular was actually shaded uh, brown in the pilot, but had more of a gray color in the main series. Plus, he spoke completely normal English in the pilot, while the main episode had him just speaking total drift. I'm genuinely curious why that was changed, maybe to make him feel more monster-like, or maybe they just thought it'd be funny if he couldn't talk, I, I don't know, it was weird. She runs off with him in the same way in both instances, with Star defeating Ludo's gang with the same spell too, that spell being the Turbo Nuclear Butterfly Blast. But whereas the main episode just cuts back to Echo Creek the next day after Miss Skolnick walks off with the monster, the pilot lingers around in the battle's aftermath a bit, showing Soul's disappearance.
disappointment with Star for destroying his backyard during the battle. The pilot goes back to the school as well, but Star is trying to apologize to Soul for what happened, something he doesn't accept at first. So Star tries to make him look good in front of Jackie for causing Miss Skolnick to quit as another way of making it up to him. She did do this in the regular episode, but it was more so done as an act of random kindness in that instance. Skolnick returns the same way out of a portal and forces the class into a pop quiz out of rage in both instances, causing the rest of the class to turn on Marco since the teacher just came back anyway. Though the pilot just has soul bitter over the fact that Jackie stopped paying attention to him, while Marco was just excited over the fact that Jackie talked to him for that long. Overall, he just felt a lot more easygoing in the main series than he did in the pilot. Not gonna lie, it felt really weird hearing almost no sound effects in the pilot either, like background music just did not exist for whatever reason. As for changes that were made from the pilot to the final product, it feels like almost all of them were net positives. The design changes for Star's parents, and especially Tom, just look a lot better in the final version than they do in the pilot, at least in my opinion. Although I wouldn't have minded seeing Star in attire that referenced the pilot every now and then in the main series, specifically what she was wearing during the final classroom scene in the pilot. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't recall her wearing anything that resembled that outfit in the main series. It's just a really cool looking outfit. It goes to show that with how little changed overall with this pilot, Darren Nefsey and the crew were able to tell the stories the way they wanted to here. I think that just about does it for this video though, but you know, don't be a stranger to letting me know in the comments what you guys think. If you have anything from the pilot you guys wish stayed the same or something, you know, tell me why in the comments. Well, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out, take care, bye-bye.